Hey guys, if you're anything like me, you're kind of confused about this whole net neutrality issue. I mean, I like my internet just the same as anyone else. I want it fast, and I want it cheap, and I want to be able to use it whenever I want. So I'm a little sketched out at the idea of having to pay more for faster access. I'm not really sure. I've read a lot of articles on both sides about it, and it's just confusing to me. But, thankfully, I got a letter here from no less than Dean Heller assuring me that everything is going to be okay. Senator Heller took time out of his busy day to send me a personal letter explaining why net neutrality is a terrible thing and why it's better for me in the long run if we don't have it. And he even signed it. Look at that. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Heller. So basically, first he thanks me for contacting him, which it was just one of those online petitions that I signed saying, please preserve net neutrality, even though I didn't know exactly what it meant. I just thought so many of my friends were pro net neutrality. Let your Congress people know. Let your senator know. Blah, blah, blah. So I let him know. But apparently I have nothing to worry about because he says he has watched the internet grow because of unfiltered access to lawful content without degradation in speed. Well, this growth allowed for innovation and investment in infrastructure. Blah, 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 blah. However... Due to concerns by some over network management of ISPs, formal FCC Chairman Wheeler asserted more regulatory influence over the internet by reclassifying ISPs as Title II Common Care. What does this even mean? Blah, 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 blah. He believes that the 2015 open internet order was detrimental to innovation, competition, and an open and free internet. The restoring internet freedom order reverses this course. But ultimately, Congress must play a role in revising our country's telecommunications laws that have not been updated in over two decades. Man, none of this makes any sense to me. It's all a bunch of gobbledygook. But I guess because Senator Heller says it's okay, everything's going to be all right. Right? Actually, I don't even think people in his own party like Dean Heller. So this letter makes me even more nervous about net neutrality. If you have anything to contribute to this conversation or to my confusion, please comment below.